As I won up the prediction game, the pay-per-view prediction game on Pro Wrestling Talk. So I'm going to pick the wrestler spotlight in a minute, but there's a couple of things wrestling related that I want to talk about. Uh, I, I hope this doesn't turn out to be a, a rant, but no promises. Okay. First thing, Charlotte versus Paige, the storyline. Uh, a lot of people are, are defending it, saying, oh, fan, what the fuck? Fans have been asking for an edgier product for years. Um, fuck this phone, this battery's done. Okay. I don't, I didn't like it. Um, and I think that page should be rep or whoever wrote it should be reprimanded. Okay. Edge your product. First of all, I haven't heard people ask for that in a while, but edge your product. Okay. If you want to have an edge your women's feud, have them in a fucking bra and panties match. Okay. Don't talk about fucking dead people. I didn't like when big boss man did it. I didn't like it when Randy Orton did it about Eddie Guerrero. I didn't like none of that shit, okay? It, it, don't do it, okay? It shouldn't be fucking happening. Oh, it gets heat for the match. No. There's other ways to build up for the match. Um, you, you, you want people to care about the match? Put, put Charlotte against Sasha Banks. Get Paige out of there. Nobody cares about her. She's yesterday's news and she's a failed AJ Lee and she's a chopped cunt. Fuck that bitch. Um, but yeah, I hated the angle. Ric Flair and his, and Reed Flair's mom didn't know about that. Uh, you people can say that it doesn't matter, but if you lost a family member, if you were famous or on TV and you lost a family member, would you like it to be used in a storyline without your consent? No, you would hate that shit. All right, guys, I moved to a better room because the other place, uh, my phone was dying, so I got to charge it. So, yeah, that was horse shit. That match pissed me off, and I didn't like what they did with that situation. Do I? Uh, you guys can see me, right? Okay, good. So, yeah, that was dog shit. It shouldn't have happened. What Paige said only lasted like 30 seconds, but that 30 seconds was the most talked about thing of the night. And it should, the crap shouldn't have happened. Uh, anyone that defends it, can, you can go suck a dick because there was no room for that. There, we, there's no need to be talking about dead fucking family members, especially if you don't have the family's permission to do so. Okay. But I do wish that Ric Flair and Charlotte would stop talking about Reed already. You know, I think that's what got JR fired. But enough about that. Okay, now the second thing, and I'm going to rant. Okay. Michael Cole had to open his fucking mouth, okay? Apparently, there was like a Twitter fake feud with uh, Kevin Owens and Melissa Joan Hart, the actress. Oh, boy. And she said he was a lazy wrestler. You know, whatever. Yeah, I mean, everybody there is lazy now, so whatever. And he blocked her because he's a little bitch. Kevin Owens is a little bitch that blocks people on fucking Twitter. Instead of just cursing a motherfucker out, he blocks them. I'll block people if I don't have time for them, but... She was obviously dicking around. I blocked her, I blocked her. And then he fucking talks on Michael Cole's interview that he blocked her. What a pussy. Like, he was trying to look all hard and shit. He, he looks like a fucking pussy. A fat fucking bum with a beard like this talking about blocking people. You know, a woman of all things, okay? So for some odd reason, his stupid fans not only blocked her too, they felt, because the New Day did it, but the New Day are fucking retards. I mean, that's what they do. I mean, I think the New Day is funny, but they, they act like black homosexuals, but um, they did it too or whatever, and they said, I stand with Owens. So the stupid Kevin Owen fans screen capped them blocking Melissa Joan Hart. Oh, I'm a big guy now. Hey, Kevin, Kevin, do I have your approval? Do I have your approval? Like, what the fuck? And then, dude, Kevin Owens doesn't care about you, okay? All he cares about is his fucking paycheck. That's why he went to he left Ring of Honor and went to WWE. Okay, he doesn't care about you. Wrestlers don't care about you, you stupid smarts. So y'all doing that shit was pointless, okay? But you have to take it a step further. You guys don't even know Melissa Joan Hart and you blocked her just because Kevin Owens told you to. If, if, if a wrestler that you smokes like told you to fucking take your silverware and dump it into the washing machine and turn it on, would you do it? Look at you. You probably would. But they had to take it a step further. They had to threaten her, her family just because they fu she fucking said that one of you internet darlings was a fucking lazy wrestler. What the fuck is wrong with you, Okay. First of all, you guys aren't going to do dick 
to her family. Um, and and second, for a wrestler, like seriously, I I knew about it, and I was a fan of Melissa Joan Hart before. Like I watched her show and all that. Um, unlike you guys, when I heard that there was a Twitter war, you know what I did? Nothing, cause I don't care. I don't care, bro. Like seriously, like you guys are fucking retarded. Um, like I don't even know what to say. I mean, you smarts go crazy about the dumbest things. Like I don't even know. Like. I had to sit there and listen to Batista and Roman Reigns get bashed forever. Did you guys see me threatening people's houses and shit? No. You guys are out of your fucking minds, man. You get help, okay? Go to hell. Like, seriously. You're going to threaten a woman's family, and she was dicking around. She even said, I was, this was like fake. I was playing around. You guys took the fun out of everything. Like you smarts on social media always do. That's, that's all you guys do. You take the fun out of everything on social media. And in this situation, I didn't care, but it's, it shows that you guys did it there, too. So, yeah, you smarts take wrestling way too motherfucking seriously. Jesus H. Tap Dancing Christ. Wrestling is you guys' life. Like, seriously, I don't... People, they say the ratings are going down. With you assholes on social media touting about it every second, I don't fucking believe it. Whatever, go to hell. Like, seriously, Melissa Joan Hart... You guys wish that you guys were Melissa Joan Hart, okay? And she didn't even insult the wrestler. She was. Where were you guys when people were talking about the Ultimate Warrior after he died, or Chris Benoit? You guys, you smarts are soft, man. Seriously, go fuck yourselves, all of you. Go get help. Eat a dick. Fuck yourselves and go to hell. Did I say that already? Yeah. Get help. Fucking jump off a fucking window. Do us all a favor. Do yourself a favor. Now the last thing I want to talk about: Survivor Series. Okay. The show. Getting there, but uh, Ruby Ray, he won the championship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or however he says it, I don't know. And then fucking shame is so showing us the fella, cashed in his money in the bank briefcase, and won the championship because Triple H came out. <laughs> now you know I know you guys expected me. Rage grumble. You guys expected me to get mad. Cancel the network. Cancel it. Cancel it. You know, I wanted Roman Reigns to win, and even though the celebration was like two and a half minutes, it happened. I ain't even mad, bruh. And it's Sheamus. You know, it's not a wrestler that I completely hate. You know, the chase is probably going to happen. He's probably going to win the title at TLC, beat Sheamus in the rematch at the Royal Rumble. I ain't even mad, bruh. I don't like it. I wish Roman Reigns... I don't know why they didn't just... Here's the thing what they should have done, okay? Roman Reigns should have captured, like, won the tournament, right? Goes to Raw uh, with the title. Because think about it, people would watch, right? Uh, because now they want to see what's Roman going to do. Is Roman going to turn? Is Dean going to turn? Um, so the more eyeballs would be watching on Monday night. And then what they could have done was had uh, Sheamus cash in then. You know, so then it shows the people, the new eyeballs I haven't been watching in a while. Wow, anything can happen. And that it would have worked. That would have worked, you know. I don't know why they didn't do that. I think less people will watch now that Sheamus won. I mean, it should have just been Roman. And then if you want Sheamus to be champion, catch it in tonight, you know. But whatever. You know, you smarts were mad that Dean Ambrose didn't win. Where's you guys' riots now? You know, but whatever. I... I just, yeah, I just felt like making this video, and uh, I'll probably be watching. I really don't know what's going to happen now. Nobody turned, though. Happy 25 years to The Undertaker for wrestling. I can't believe it. There'll never be another one, either. Like, Undertaker, there'll never be another Undertaker. There'll never be another wrestler that wrestled for 25 years in the same kept company. It'll never happen. The Undertaker is the one and only. So cherish every moment of him on TV. And so, yeah. Um, Sheamus winning, though, does make the road to WrestleMania less unpredictable or less predictable. Um, I'm just telling you guys what I think. He's going to beat him in a TLC match. Roman's going to beat Sheamus in a TLC match. They're going to have the rematch at the Rumble. Roman's going to win that. And he doesn't need to defend it at Fastlane. So, yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching this random video and talk to you guys later see you later
happy Thanksgiving too. If I don't see you guys again, happy Thanksgiving. Take care.